Hello fellow travelers, how are you today? My name is SG and welcome to the channel. Today we'll be doing another poetry reading uh, by William Blake. I hope you enjoy. Uh, please leave a comment in the section if you have an opinion on it. And let's get started. The Tiger by William Blake Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forest of the night, what a mortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry? In what distant deeps or skies burnt the fires of thine eyes? On what wing dare he spire? What the hand dare seize the fire? And what shoulder and what art could twist the sinews of thy heart? And when thy heart began to beat, what dread hand and what dread feet? What the hammer, what the chain, in what furnace was thy brain? What the anvil, what dread grasp, dare its deadly terror clasp? When the stars threw down their spears and watered heaven with their tears, did he smile his work to see? Did he who made the lamb make thee? Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forest of the night, what a mortal hand or eye there frame thy fearful symmetry. All right, now that we've read the poem, let's talk about it. This one is pretty much on face value. This one is more narrative than it does have a deeper meaning. This is about him looking at a tiger and appreciating it for its beauty, but at the same time, admitting that it's very deadly, that it is a vicious creature. And this goes on in for half the poem or a majority of it at least then he goes on to talk about its creator like who made it referring to god because william blake himself does do a lot of poems related to god or the like so he thinks such a beautiful creature but at the same time it's a vicious cruel animal like who would make this was it God? What is his opinion on it? What does he think? Does it have a specific purpose? Could the same thing that made something as gentle as a lamb make something its complete opposite? Now, if you want to go into a deeper meaning to this poem, you could say that it's William Blake talking about the differences between good and evil. Could the same being that created good create something evil and are we of the same creature and these are just thoughts that he is putting out there in a way that you know is not too over the top or grandiose I should say and in the end it really doesn't have an answer it's just asking the question are we from the same creator are we different or can we admire one another for what we are? Alright, that's about it for today. Um, thank you again for clicking on the channel. I hope you enjoyed today's poem. And um, if you did, please subscribe. And I'll see you all again next time. Maybe with a different poem or maybe something else. Have a good day. And I hope you come back soon.